Here at the Cracker Barrel, you'll find a secret ingredient in our southern fried chicken. Well, we might as well tell you. We're all friends here. It's care. Yeah, you can taste the care in every crispy bite. Our chicken is carefully breaded and perfectly fried, all by hand, with no shortcuts. Because care takes time. Take care now. Hello everyone, this building here is in the band and Cracker Barrel All Country Store in Bend, Oregon. So let's check this place out, shall we? Sign used to be up there. It is for lease. If you want to buy the whole restaurant, you have to call this number. This location is now closed. You can pause the video if you want to read it. Here's the inside. Typical vestibule, of course. As far as you know, this location opened in February 2019 and then they shut down for good in March of this year. Lasting four years of business. The bar was a short lived restaurant. Then through COVID, that caused them to go out of business. And that's just sad. Not just that, the Wallatine and Riverton locations were also affected in the same year. The other one in Portland and Jensen Beach shut down in August of last year. Luckily, I was able to film all three places. So, if you haven't seen them all yet, please do so in the description below. Straight ahead, the door will be for employees only. There's only one more crack about that is open in effort. Hopefully, it won't shut down at some point. Also, by the way, this was the last Cracker Barrel ever to be built in Oregon. I heard that Tualatin location was the first one to open the restaurant in 2017. This was before the others started opening in the Portland area. It's kind of weird that I never had a Cracker Barrel in my hometown. Supposedly, they would have opened my area years ago. I don't know if they would still be in business or not. I only have tried a Cracker Barrel and Tualatin, that's all. I always thought having the whole gift shop right next to the dining area was pretty cool. That is one thing I like about the restaurant chain company. Here's the old dining area view. It's totally gone. No more tables and chairs, including the decorations. The only thing you can see are the hanging light fixtures. Yet this building looks exactly like the one I filmed at the former Cracker Barrel restaurants. The entryway over there leads to the old kitchen. The kitchen is pretty much empty as well. You can see the chimney to your left side. I wonder whatever happened to the furniture and decoration after they had taken out from this closed restaurant. I mean, those things look brand new. I guess they were thrown away. If that's the case, that would suck. I sometimes wonder, did the company made a mistake opening Cracker Barrels in the Portland areas, including the band location in the first place? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. For me, I kind of thought those restaurants were in a good location. But if it isn't really, guess I'm wrong then. I'm not surprised about COVID issues and other problems too. Oh well, it is where it is. I guess the company wasted the money opening restaurants in the first place, not knowing they were going to last a few years of operation. We're going to check the outside of the building. Door is locked. What a bummer. We really want to go inside the vacant Cracker Barrel. That would be totally dope as heck. This is a good stuff we can get. So here's what the old kitchen looks like. 
I still don't get why cooking equipment should go on. It just doesn't make any sense, you know? That's just strange. I would totally feel bad if the new restaurant owner had to buy kitchen equipment. You know what I mean? These things are so expensive to cover. Like, literally. Got a small door on your wall? I don't know what that's for. You look like the food might have been in a vacant area or a manager's office. Either way. At least there's a little bit of light in the kitchen part. Sorry about the background alarm noises. It's so annoying. Here's another room. Okay, this is more likely that it had to be a break room because of the writings on the black cabinet doors. The other room may have been a manager's office then. Quite a handful of writing from the former employees. Guess somebody who got to erase a black voice and no one going to bother reading it. Whatever. And that's about it. Now, you can gonna wrap up for real. Make sure you like, comment, share, by doing so. And until next time, peace out.